right guys, so what we have is a brand new Cat 330 Next Gen Excavator um, and we just rented it for a couple days, had two house, house lots to do, one's up behind it, one's uh, down there. Builder needed them in ASAP, so I was willing to pay the little bit extra for a bigger machine to get them done as quick as possible. So I just want to do a quick walk around of uh, kind of these next gen machines. So I've been in a couple before, but this is the first one I've really operated. Uh, so they're all pretty much basically set up the same. So I'm not going to talk too much specifically about this machine, but just kind of the features that you get if you get a next gen, because uh, it's pretty sweet. This is definitely my most favorite machine uh, that I've ever operated actually. It is super quick, very smooth. Uh, good power, awesome visibility, cab is super nice, everything's laid out good, so just kind of want to go over everything with you. So um, everything is designed to be serviced from ground level here. And so here's your uh, air filters, wiper fluid, batteries are right there. Got metal doors like that. Um, got all your cooling fans, coolant level, battery disconnect. See, cat dropped. There's going to be no more letters after. So it's going to be a, like a 2019 330 or 2020 330. Uh, kind of adopting the car brand mantra of doing that. Uh, Built-in camera up in the counterweight. I think it looks pretty nice built in there. Uh, you also notice they've shrunk the back down, which actually increases visibility a ton, which is really nice. So over on this side, this is where a lot of changes were made. Uh, we'll go in here first. So... They've made, uh, this is for servicing, uh, sight glass right here for hydraulic fluid. You've got your oil dipstick right here now, and there is also one up top that I'll show you. Uh, filters are right here. So this is a big change, the uh, side step. Oop. Side step entrance. There's no more side, uh, front step here, which I actually kind of like. It's nice and easy to get up to. Uh, this is your depth tank right there. So we'll climb up. Diesel fuel fill, hydraulic fluid fill. Um, you can swing your see your swing motor. We've got another oil dipstick here, so you can check it up here, oil fill. And in here is the motor. So you actually really don't need to open this up to check anything, which is kind of nice. There's your uh, fluid fill or the coolant. So go back down. Um, it's also got camera right here. Um, and I'll show you that when we get inside the machine. That works really good. You can actually see the tracks from inside, from that camera. Uh, so it is very, very helpful visibility. But because of this side step, you can actually see out the side, which is very nice. Um, so besides that, there's not too much changes. Um, so all next-gen machines, um, as long as you don't get a GC version, um, will come with a ton of technology. And one of them is 2D grade control, so just like my Trimble systems. And you can see um, sensor there, sensor right there, and there's some other in the machine. Um, you can upgrade and get a laser catcher, which is right there. which I would recommend if you're planning to do 2D. So let's go inside. 
So a big thing here is this armrest actually goes like two stage. So you fold it down and then you flip this out. So you flip it up. So it's kind of nice, kind of gets out of the way even more. So visibility is really, really good. There's your nice big screen, we'll, uh, we'll start it up. It is a push to start. So you turn this once. And you can set a passcode, uh, which is a lot more secure than everybody having the same exact cat keys, which I like. There's no passcode on this right now. But then you just hit this button and she starts up. So visibility out the side is pretty good. You've got visibility out the back, about as good as you can get. Um, so here's your screens. So works pretty awesome. So you can actually see that on the top. That's your side view. You can actually see your tracks. So if you're right up against something, you can see it. And also the, uh, the rear one, I mean, you're looking at, you can see the cat name on the counterweight. Um, and they are full HD, I believe they're 720p cameras, and they keep right up. There's no lag like some of the other brands that I've tried out, which is really nice. All right, so what else do we have in here? We got a cup holder right there, HVAC vents, uh, tons of room. Can actually fit a real cooler in there, another cup holder there. Um, and they moved almost all the buttons. Previously, all the cat stuff used to be like back here to do the radio. That's how it is in my machine. Kind of not convenient. So everything's been moved right to here. This is your throttle. Oh yeah, this thing is like silent too. You can barely hear it. You can actually have a full on conversation with somebody standing right here uh, at full throttle, which is kind of nice. So two speed travel, lights, windshield wiper fluid, windshield wipers. This is music mute button. Uh, information button, which is kind of nice. So if you press and hold this, it tells you all the things about it. So you can set this up, that top one, top left one that says guest. Uh, that is what operator is in it. So different operators can have different uh, settings programmed in and a different passcode. So when they log into the machine, all their settings are saved. Uh, top right is backhoe loader. That's the control pattern that you're running. Uh, fast, that's your response rate on the controls. And the bottom left is the attachment that you have on, which this is a 54 inch digging bucket. Then you have um, the what the joysticks do, and I believe these are customizable, so you can kind of program these buttons that are on here. There's also two on the back to whatever you want, but this is what the default ones are. And then you let go of that and it goes away. So you got your fuel level, def level, um, basically everything else telling you all your pitch and roll and everything. Um, so back over here, this turn dial, if you turn it, see it goes left and right and then you click. So that goes into your uh, 2D grade control, which I'll do in a separate video. So this is music, turns it on. Sorry, we had to mute that, or YouTube would uh, take down the video for copyright. Um, this one is HVAC. So again, everything comes up on here when you hit it. And then you can use the turn dial to adjust anything, and you can also touch screen. This is your home button to always get back to this screen. And this is your function lifts, list. So you can turn on your auto warm up, fine swing, heavy lift, lift assist, all those things. Uh, you got Bluetooth connectivity, uh, so you can put your phone through here. Um, you got USB port, 12 volt, plug. Uh, this is where your quick coupler controls would be. 
and uh, that's kind of it on the inside so stay tuned and I'm gonna run through uh, some of these features on here one by one in some upcoming videos thanks for watching guys